Electrocardiography is a method of visualization of the electrical activity of the heart. It allows seeing the process of depolarization and repolarization in the heart over a certain period of time using electrodes placed on the patient's skin. Electrodes are the conductive pads. ECG devices register an electrical potential difference between the two certain locations. The pair of electrodes may measure the electrical potential difference between two locations where electrodes are placed. Such pair forms a lead, but also a lead can be formed between a physical electrode and a virtual electrode. It has an average electrical potential between three limbs where electrodes are placed. For example, the electrical potential difference between the right arm and the left leg where electrodes are placed is recorded as lead 2. When depolarization or repolarization wave is directed towards the left leg electrode, a positive deflection of line is recorded on ECG. To better understand this, let's imagine only one pair of electrodes, a positive and a negative one. Cells at rest have a negative charge when the charge on the outside of the cells are positive. During depolarization, cells become charged positively and the charge on the outside of the cell is negative. During repolarization, cells get negative charge again. During the conduction of depolarization wave, there are cells that are already depolarized and cells that are not yet depolarized. There is a difference of charge across this set of cells. We can think about this as being a dipole. It may be marked as a vector that is directed from a negative charge to a positive one. It's important that electrodes detect the charge on the outside of the cells. Direction and magnitude of the electrical forces are defined as a vector. Depolarization or repolarization wave is recorded by electrodes placed on the skin. But the electrocardiography is based on a comparison of the heart vector and recording lead vector. The heart vector means direction and magnitude of the depolarization or repolarization waves. It's an above mentioned dipole. The recording lead vector concerns a vector of ECG recording that is between two vectors. If the heart vector runs parallel, in other words, Heart vector is of the same direction as recording lead vector. We see deflection strongly upward from baseline in this lead. In other words, there is positive deflection. If cardiac currents are directed obliquely to the recording lead vector, deflection is positive, but its amplitude is less. The amplitude depends on the angle between heart vector and recording lead vector. The heart vector is subdivided into two vectors. The first one, that is a projection of the heart vector on the line between two electrodes and the second one that is perpendicular to this line and it's conducted with the end of the heart vector. Projective vector is always not bigger than the initial one. If the direction is perpendicular to the axis of the lead, there is no deflection. If the direction of the heart vector is opposite to the axis of the lead, downward deflection is registered. If there is no current flow, no deflection on ECG is seen. We see only an isoline. The high magnitude of heart vector causes a more permanent positive or negative deflection on ECG, except the case when the heart vector is perpendicular. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe and hit the like button.